Hello everyone and welcome to Nerdgasm with the Diecast. We are back. Nerdgasm. You, you can probably guess why as of last night's Walking Dead. Yeah, we're back here for this. You know, we've got the Dread Wardens, Game of Thrones, my Walking Dead. Today we've got two people with us here. It's a little smaller than usual, but we have Nerodia and Logan Creed here with us. Hello, we, guys. I'm How's it going? It being small. Maybe somebody will be able to get a damn word in for once. Yeah, and we have. Oh, wait, oh my we have Logan Creed here because he is the one that actually is not a huge fan of The Walking Dead. So I thought he would bring an interesting perspective on it. That's the Carl. Oh, I'm in agreement there. Kill it. Most people are. Much. Yeah. Carl needs to go. He should have died in season one. You know. See, no, he you, wasn't. You, you, you know where in the, in the books where it deviates in the story where uh, you know he shoots. Uh, yeah, Sean, Sean in the neck. Shane in the neck. Was he already a zombie? No, he wasn't a zombie. No, he right? wasn't a zombie. He and was holding a shotgun on Rick and was gonna kill him because he wanted Lori. Rick uh, Shane should have shot that kid in the face when he shot him in the neck. <laughs> Yeah, I love the books, and it's, it's interesting that they actually are going closer to the books now than they've been. I know, right? It's about time. Yeah, like, well, that was like with the Carl about getting cornholed. Hey, Freeman, you know what, you're go you know what I'm going to ask. Go ahead and put it up. Yeah, get a nice cookie, Carl. It's Carl Did in the Carl bathtub crying, anything? eating cookies. Oh, not a giant, giant jar of pudding? <laughs> no, um, no. I Carl mean, really not... didn't have he a. Like one or two he lines. didn't even really have a point in this episode. He was just kind of there. Um, and I'm gonna say, well, well, I guess I'll start it off with. We'll go a quick, you know, our favorite things of this episode. Me, I've got to say my favorite. Well, of course, one of us hasn't seen it, so this will be a two-person kind of thing. My favorite scene was when, um, God, what is her name? I'm having trouble. The, um, the woman that killed the sick people and off to the little girl, like old yeller. I don't know. Carol? Carol. Carol. Yes, Carol. Carol. Like, she had a pretty badass scene where, um, she saw the people in Terminus. She saw that they'd captured everybody and that they were doing, you know, fucked up shit. She discovers, she finds uh, um, a fuel tank, uh, you know, propane, I'm pretty sure, like a giant propane mm, tank. Good, clean, burning fuel. Yeah. She sees it next to a fence. She pops a hole in it with a sniper and does the most perfect bottle rocket launch ever. Bottle rocket straight into the fuel, you know, into the vapor cloud of propane blows a hole in the fence and there was a swarm of zombies coming to terminus of course because you know that's There's just always perfect a swarm timing. of zombies coming anywhere to zombie populace. this is true yes but it was like an ultra swarm like it, it really was a couple hundred zombies just walking in a row <laughs> the idiots at terminus started shooting at people so they were like hey what's this but yeah, so that was my favorite episode. Just our favorite part of this episode was her napalming the fence and letting all the walkers. And it was awesome too because a lot of them got lit on fire. And I like that in this show the zombies are how they should be. They don't feel pain. They don't fear fire. They're just blank slates that want to eat. Like I love that. Like they're burning alive and they're just like, I'm going to bite you. I don't forgive her for killing the sick people, and I still want her to go away. What sick people? There were people that had a... Oh, when she burned them in the prison. Yes, okay, yeah, I she, remember she that murdered the two people and burned them. It needed to be done. It was fucked up. She, I don't she, think she should have done it, but I think they might all be She killed the crazy that. little girl, too, didn't she? Yeah, the crazy she, little she girl. She yelled at her. Yeah, I remember she, yelling that when I saw she that. She still has to pay. What happened to the other little girl? Um, she... Killed her sister. Oh. The other little girl, the crazy one, like... Killed her sister? Yeah, she, like, gutted her. And she was like, look, she's gonna come back, and she'll be better than before. And she was 
like insane and she thought that the zombies were still people they were just different I'm like well they're a lot different in the fact they want to, to kill you. Well, they face. are still people. We won't get into that because we disagree strongly, but they're still homo sapiens. They haven't changed species. No. But anyway. <clears throat> they can't reproduce, so they're no longer living, no, so they're still no longer a human people. Being They've lost their spiral reproduce. energy. Sorry, I've been watching a lot of Garu Logan. <laughs> I don't know what that there is. It's an anime. It's, oh, pretty, I see. it's pretty good, though. You should watch it sometimes. Uh, Anyone else who wa- who's listening, then you should. Uh, it three minutes. Haven't seen it. Quit being a lazy bitch. Throw up a picture so they know what to look for. Oh. There are a lot of humans that are not zombies that can't reproduce. They're still human beings. Yeah. It's well, like, they're not technically living because that's one of the prerequisites for being a living no, creature. No, it's not because the beast men were living, but they couldn't reproduce. See, how I was taught it's in school was you one of Wait, wait, wait. You were taught in school. It. You live in North Carolina, and we're like... 50th in the state in education. <laughs> they do say True. that. Even if we only had 48 states, we'd still be 50th. <laughs> they do say that, but they are referring to humans as a species. You are living thing or living things. Yeah, just because you're sterile doesn't mean you're you're not a human. You're no longer a person. On a case by case basis, it doesn't <laughs> I'm kidding. Work. Anyone that's that, listening that's that, sterile, that's a joke. That's yeah. That that's part of a stereotype that they've put in that's been put into place, making. The sterols and the no, the less, people less that don't human. reproduce. I like you more than most of these breeders out there. So don't, don't maybe maybe you should start reproducing. reproducing. No, don't do it. Don't the the human race needs to die off. Include especially Carol. She needs to die off. Oh God. So okay, what was your favorite part of this episode? I know you had to like something from it. I got a lot of satisfaction out of um, what's his face the. The man in the cabin with the baby. Oh, to re- uh, beating the Tyrese. shit out of that dude. That oh. was fun. Yeah, that was awesome. You didn't get oh, to see the, that the one. Baby's still alive. Oh, yeah, Judith is still alive. Beat him to death. Um, Carol and um, is it Tyrese? I think it is. Um, anyway, he and Carol had the baby. She went off to try to rescue the people from Terminus. He stayed by to watch the baby and watch a prisoner from Terminus that they found. Um. What happened was the guy, when um, Therese got distracted by the zombies, he ran up and grabbed the baby by the neck with his... He had his hands tied, but, you know, it doesn't take much to kill a baby. Right. And he was... He, there were zombies beating him. We would know them. about killing babies, wouldn't we? Stop. Stop. Inappropriate. Too, too far. But anyway, um, he had the baby by the neck, and he told him to go outside. There were zombies out there, you know. He was like, go get killed. He goes outside... Like, no weapon, kills all the zombies, impels one's head on a spike. I'm pretty sure he just snapped one's neck and threw it. A cu- like, he just ripped through a bunch of zombies. The guy um, got confused when it went silent. He went to open the door. Right as he went to open the door, Tyrese kicked the door in, grabbed his legs, slammed him on the ground, and just started beating his face into the ground. And all he was screaming was, I can't, I can't, the whole time. But he was referring to, he can't let another kid die. Because he felt extremely bad by letting the, you know, not taking care of the crazy girl before she killed her sister. And then having to let Carol kill the crazy girl he beat for that killing. asshole to death. Yeah, he, he, he did just because... straight. Yeah, he's one of the characters, I think, are, are right with the show. Mm-hmm. So, you know... It's like Rick. I think Rick actually his personality for the show is actually pretty spot on for like the scenarios that. Yeah, he's for he's going he, a little he, crazy. He he's is trying. falling slowly into madness, but it's necessary for him to survive. Yeah. Carl's yeah. a fucking idiot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He doesn't agreed. know what he should be doing ever. But that guy tried to kill a baby, but also he deserved to die because he was a cannibal. He was yes. talking a lot. And he wouldn't stop talking. And that was oh, he was just nervous. ranting on about how he hated everyone he stayed with. He was with. monologuing, and I really yeah. didn't like it. It, no, it was a shitty monologue. Nobody likes a monologue. <laughs> but this being said, Hence why they're all this is going to sound really bad, but I'm actually, I have a problem with the fact that the baby is still alive. Just because it's unrealistic to me. How so? That is a serious dead weight on you when you're trying to survive well they've shown how they survived and i think it could be done during all that chaos the zombies are going after all these people 
you know, if you ran quick enough, you could get away from some zombies with a baby. These are slow. Yeah. You can outwalk zombies. But so as long as you to, keep moving. You have well, to, and they you found a. Take care of yourself and they run found away. a good place. They found a house that was secluded, had a um, fence around it with cans. So anytime any walker got near, they could take it out quietly without attracting others. It wasn't that unrealistic. And Granted, they would have had more trouble, but they... in like heated moments, you're trying to protect this baby and not yourself. Eventually, you would slip up, and either you would die or the baby. Well, would that's die. why they had Tyrese and Carol, because Carol was looking out for them. He was looking out for the baby. Carol has never been the main. Her main concern has never been the kid. It's been them, and that's why they're still alive. She's been, a, oh, she's a horrible bitch, but they would be dead without her. I will be almost as pleased with her death on the show when it finally comes as I was with Joffrey's death. I was not satisfied with Joffrey's death. <laughs> Freeman, no. you know the I picture. Was, I was satisfied, and then I was yeah. sad because it, they actually made it, like, sad to me. And I was like, oh, no, I, I was so bad. You know, I was happy that he died. No, don't get me wrong. I fucking hate the little twerp. Yeah. But... I wanted a more satisfying death, not poison. Poison's a lame death. I know a lot of people wanted it. It's to be the gruesome. it's yeah. it's the it's the murder weapon of women, and eunuchs. Sorry, I, <laughs> I, I quoted the show there. Send all angry letters to Logan Creed. Sorry, I'm not giving you his email. It's Logan Creed 420 at gmail dot com. <laughs> all right, well you can throw it to him. Fine. <laughs> I wouldn't go um, out to but... shit. Well, it's not. We always do that. Let's not get off on Game of Thrones, but but that would be almost as satisfying to me to see yeah. her go. Now, the one thing about this episode I really didn't fucking like, and it's the fact that there's always a easily placed distraction right when they're about to die. At the beginning of the episode, they drag them all. They're bleeding them. Which, first of all, they're bleeding them wrong. They're bleeding like seven, eight at a time. There's a lot of meat on a person. You're not going to run through that meat. How many people are in Terminus? Like, not how many cannibals are in Terminus? Um, there's, I would say, probably maybe 20 at most. Yeah, you only need, like, two people. Per, yeah. Two people would last you uh, probably one or two days. But, yeah, there, there was, they were lining them up, like, seven, eight at a time, and they would rip, zip tie their hands behind their back, zip tie their feet, and they were bludgeoning them with a bat and slitting their throat. So one at a time, you know, Why slowly. Why were they beating them with a bat? To Tenderize daze them, I guess. Them Tenderize the meat, maybe? Yeah. It really <laughs> didn't make any so, sense because they're slitting sense. the throat. Yeah, Why are you going to plug them? Yeah. Maybe they were trying to be humane. By bludgeoning them with a bat first? As opposed to, yeah. I think well, I think slitting the throat, throat would be an easier you death. Choke, you choke on yourself and then die, as opposed to having your head crushed and then choking on your own Yeah, because then you've got a massive headache, pain from the throat, and then... Well, they're knocked out. I don't think they have a headache. But I, I had a problem with that opening scene. How did you like how they conveniently had everybody lined up in order of importance? Yeah, they did. <laughs> they had um Rick at the back, um Daryl, um, uh, uh, Glenn. Did anybody... Big die in Terminus? Um, no. From the party? Didn't no. think so. No, no one... No, actually, I don't think anyone from the like, party at like the all. the army group that Glenn came in with... They're, uh, they're all alive. Those are all... They're, I figured they'd all still be alive. Yeah. Uh, Darryl, Although you discover that the, um... The one guy's lying fraud? Um, well, he, he played it off, but if you're not an idiot, you see? Because they finally asked him, how do you know this is going to work? And he was like, well, I was in the armies, yada, yada, yada... And I saw all their military weapons and weaponized germs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go there and I'm going to flip the script on him. And he just gave a really vague, like he's going to use viruses to kill zombies. Wouldn't that be kind that of a, is, If you were the first would, one to they, think of it... That would not work. They're dead. They, 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 they have no circulatory system. They don't breathe. Yeah. Their blood doesn't travel. Yeah, it wouldn't do a thing. There's nothing... He, yeah, he basically... Diseases won't work on them. No, diseases don't work on the dead. That's why they don't have diseases They're still from people. Rotting. They're still people, I had but they're dead. When we were watching, they're just moving dead. As we were still watching the show, I thought, it would be pretty brilliant, though, if 
Like, if you could convince people, if you were the Give first the one to think of Ebola. it. Give the zombies Ebola. No, listen. Flesh if you were the, the, virus if you were the first one to think <laughs> of it, it would be brilliant to, like, convince people that you are the key to stopping the virus, so then everybody Wait. protects you. Wait. Well, Andy's so, an idiot. So, a little theory. Uh, zombies are pretty much only held together by their muscle structure. Mm-hmm. What if we just infect them all with multiple sclerosis? Like Captain Cripple. <laughs> wow. it take a few years, but, you know... Act, most people who are diagnosed with that as in childhood aren't aren't prospected to live past the age of 13. Yeah. And that's people taking care of them. These zombies are just going to fall apart. I don't think that's an infectious disease. I don't think it is either. <laughs> no. But we just, just weaponize run around, it. Run around with a gun full of syringes and full <laughs> of multiple sclerosis blood. And by the way, we can be a bit crass. We don't mean anything by it. Don't uh, Don't get angry. All right, this is a podcast. People aren't watching it for PC. They're watching it to be entertained. Just so you know, Captain Cripple is um, his own chosen Have you form, ever so. been to America where people get offended I'm, people by I don't give two Man, shits about America. Justice, social justice. Well, bullshit. Americans. Love America. Fuck Americans. Anyway, moving on. I, I don't love either one. <laughs> Send your hate mail to... Not giving you my email, asshole. Anyway, I um, will. No. shut up. <laughs> um, anyway, so do you have anything to say about Walking Dead? We haven't stated things that aggravate you about it, um, or anything in general. It's, or just it's, 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 a, it's a problem that I have with a lot of like apocalyptic stuff. It's like I spend a lot of time watching people. I know how they would react to certain situations. The reactions people have in Walking Dead are like crackpot ideas that a crackhead would have. Not a normal sane person, semi-sane person. Because nobody, nobody's perfectly sane. Everybody's crazy in their own little way. And it's like, even with great stressors, they're making just terrible, terrible, horrible choices on what to do. <laughs> Mostly Carl. He pisses me off when it's one of those shows based around him, like the Pudding episode. Yeah, oh God. Yeah, I wish he would die. Like, I, I like Michonne. I think that, you know, they're pushing her a little too much on her. So they're trying to make us... Black chick? Yeah. Oh, Samurai Sword. Yeah. Yeah. Her. Um, they're, they're pushing her extremely heavily on us. And with the family episode they showed last season, explaining that she had kids and her, you know, all that, they're just, they, you know, she her is her badass self. Don't and... I used to not like Carol until she came back and she was hardened by life. In reality. Yeah, she's more realistic I, now. I think killing the little girl was the right thing to do. Yeah. Because you oh, don't... I'm not upset about the little girl. I'm upset about the sick people that she killed. Oh, well, they were I gonna don't... die anyway. She gave them mercy. It's like by by her. that time they had already known that you. Yeah, Everybody's they were infected, already packing right? up blood and bleeding but, out into no, their lungs. Like they are, they, no, because I remember they, they had learned at one point that everybody's already infected with the disease. It's just when you die, you turn. Well, no, this, this was, they were talking about the flu. Um, they had like an ultra flu that was killing people off. Yeah. It, oh, okay. So they were. They it, were. It, um, was, it was a different. It was. Infection. It was a different infection. It, it was. But still, even if even why? even when they would have died, they would have turned. Yes, exactly. So I think she did the right thing. Like, yeah, these people. They if I'm been not left... mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, some of these people were completely useless and counterproductive to the cause. Most of them were kind of useless. There was a doctor. It's, it's cutting the. Oh. There was a the doc- doctor. The doctor was already sick. He was going to die. There's well, no point in trying. Well, no, that's what I was saying. Was other than like the doctor and a couple people, they weren't needed for the story. They weren't enhancing it at all, and they were. They would have dra- dragged the cast down. I don't because... even mean about the story. I meant just like if it was a zombie. Oh apocalypse, yes, they they, they weren't the that. They were young people, old people. Um, yeah, they, they weren't necessary. I didn't like her before she killed the sick people. That was like the young. I didn't like her before thing. she killed the sick people because it's hard because I can understand where women under dominant men are can, can come from. Yeah. But after the zombie apocalypse would have started, I would have slit my husband's throat in a heartbeat. Especially after all the useless shit he didn't do. Oh yeah, agreed. He he'd have been dead quick. Didn't he die really soon anyway? Oh yeah, he got 
eaten after getting his ass whooped by Shane for beating her in public. That's like right, Shane, that's right, that's yeah. right. Yeah, he beat the fuck out of him. He was bitching, he slapped her, he told her to get the fuck out, and she left, and then zombies munched on him. So, you know, whoop de doo dick bag. Ha, ah, quick social justice. Yes. But, um, so I think I've covered about everything I wanted to. Either of y'all got anything left? No. Death to Carl! Death to Carl! Freeman, make a new picture. You know what to do. Death to Carl! Death to Carl! But yes, we thank you for tuning in to this podcast. Sorry it's a little late in posting. We will catch you all next time, my friends. Don't forget, we will have a new one up next Monday. Catch you then. See you on the flip side. Click it. Just the little um stop symbol over there by